uh, at his last fight with Thomas Murat has looking charge for the punch for the first victory and it seems like it, 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 it interrupts to him to focus. What is the reason of his charger? Uh, before the fight, I told Murad that I felt this was a five-round fight. I felt that uh, if he if he just looked for it, looked for it in the first couple rounds, he was going to knock him out in the fifth round. And I think that was my mistake for telling him that because what that he, in his mind, he's so powerful he can hit anybody. In, well, he's proven it to me here in the gym that he can knock anybody out with whatever shot he wants. To. He's very skilled, but. Uh, because I told him that, I, that as a five round fight, he took the first two or three rounds off. Like, uh, uh, and he made a mistake because he's a young man, but I'd rather have those mistakes done today when it, a fight is meaningless than when he's fighting for a world title or something significant. But uh, uh, I made the mistake of telling him that it was a five round fight. I, th I thought that he would get him in five rounds. And uh, by the third round, if he hadn't have done that, the fourth round is, is a very good round for us and the fifth round he knocks him out. Unfortunately, we made a mistake. He made a mistake, but I think it's a learning experience for him, and I think that he'll be better for it. Uh, if there will be one more fight with Thomas, would Murat have another game plan? No, uh, Murat uh, uh, will not fight Thomas again, first of all, because Thomas would never fight us. He told me himself he would never fight us. His manager told, us, told me he would never fight us. But I think Murat, what I said to Murat is, uh, after the fight is, I don't want to lose another round in a fight, and I don't want to lose another round in sparring. His style that we've, uh, we've tried to create uh, is going to be an aggressive style. Uh, and I will never again say to him, this is a five round fight. I told him after the fight, I don't want to lose another round Sparring, I don't want to lose another round in fight. So we're going to go out to get whoever it is that we're fighting. Uh, Murat will fight for IBF top two position at his next fight, and in case of victory, he will be very close for the title fight. Will you agree to have fight against Denis Lebedev or Victor Ramirez if you have such an opportunity? Or does Murat need some time to fight with boxer of his level and experience? Murat is the, to me, Murat is the best. There's three best cruiserweights in the world. Murat is one of them. Dross is the other one, but he's hurt. And I haven't seen the kid from Ukraine, the, I don't know the young man's name, but the gold medalist. Usyk, I think, is it? I haven't seen him in a tough fight, so I don't know how good he is. But Murat is one of the top three in the world, in my opinion. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the opportunity. Lebedev, he knocks out. Murad knocks him out. Uh, Ramirez is no match for, for, for uh, Murad. Again, I'm talking as his coach, but I'm talking because I've seen him in the gym and I've seen him in, in, in sparring and I've seen him in, in, in situations against much better fighters than Lebedev and Ramirez, and he handles himself uh, quite well and quite easy. Not like the goal, Murad fits sparring with another Russian first heavyweight division boxer Dmitry Kudryashov. Are you satisfied the way of his fighting class? Extremely satisfied. Murat did exactly what uh, what I know he can do. Uh, Murat uh, handled himself very, very well. Uh, one of these days, hopefully, we'll, we'll have a fight against Kudryashov, and I think it's a, it's a fight that uh, we look forward to. I don't know if he does, but we do, or I do anyway. Um, but yes, uh, it was very inspiring for us. Uh, Murat has fight not very often. Did you prevent him from growing? Or it, or it is not critical for his age? From growing into a heavyweight, you mean? Um, I don't understand the question. Growing, maybe, uh, maybe more, more fight? Oh, uh, no, he, he definitely needs more fights. I think that the plan with the team uh, is to get him the, the cruiserweight titles as many as he can and maybe in a couple of years he's a growing boy, he's only 22 years old so he's going to grow a little bit bigger, maybe he'll be a heavyweight, uh, but for right now the more fights he gets the better it is for Murat. The 
better it is for his experience, the better it is for um, his ring generalship so he understands what he's supposed to do in the fights. So sparring is one thing and the fights are a different thing. So he needs the fights to make sure that he understands how to act and how to progress round by round in a fight. What is young and his powerful, and his powerful, powerful punch? Will be he able to obtain a reputation similar to your fighter Gennady Golovkin once or in the future? I've been quoted as saying that that's the next Golovkin out of my gym. And I mean that because I've seen what he can do and it's just a matter of getting the opportunities. If he gets fights against the top guys, he will destroy them just like Gennady destroys his opponents.